I guess what I want to really drill home is I just don't understand how in the beginning part, first quarter of 2017, people don't realize that if they're not producing written words, audio, or video content for these 15 platforms, SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, those places for podcasting, right? You know, Facebook and YouTube for video and Instagram and, and Twitter and Snapchat for pictures and short form video. I don't understand how people think they're relevant. Right. Like, and by the way, I think email is still the killer app. I think phone call, the phone's incredible. Mm-hmm. But, but they're declining in our attention. I have right. not responded to a bulk or even a one-on-one sales pitch in email or phone form in a decade. A stunning amount of people behind that camera right now are not gonna be successful in sales because they're not willing to work hard enough. Mm-hmm. They love the automation. They love all these tools. The problem is, if you have the greatest hammer and the greatest screwdriver and the greatest wrench, the greatest, in front of you, mm-hmm. If you don't use them properly, you will lose. Right. If there's a nail that I have to put in that ground, but I take the wrench and I hit it when the hammer was right there, it still comes down to the practitioner. Mm-hmm. And you have to be good at your craft, and you have to love your, if you don't love sales, if you don't love it, you have no chance. Because it's so hard, it's so painful, there's so much rejection. Right. Um, so those are the things I think about. So for any sales professionals watching, Where would you advise that they start in terms of creating their own content or sharing their content, uh, adding their own context as well? Before I go directly into the tactics of should you make a video, uh, should you do a written blog post, or should you do a podcast, you have to reverse engineer who you're trying to get to. So I think the number one rule of salespeople is to listen. Know your audience. Know what they did. If you see an M and A just happen, if you see layoffs just happening, if you see one of their, if I see Burger King doing something, I'm thinking, what does McDonald's think of this? Right. Um, so that's number one. Number two, where are they spending time? Everybody as a salesperson has to figure out how do they best communicate. Is it written word? Is it audio? Is it video? Is it in person? And how do you use the digital world? in audio, written, or video form to create the gateway drug to in-person. I look at sales very differently than the far majority. I think way too many salespeople are patient, are impatient. I think way too many salespeople are transactional. I think way too many salespeople are lowest common denominator, spam, blast LinkedIn, um, email bulk, business card, business card, business card. So I think I've got a different tactic on sales, Mm -hmm. but don't get it twisted, it's what I am. If you're not happy with your upside, if you're not fully fulfilled, I think a lot of you are doing things that are directly in front of you. Numbers that they put in front of you, you're trying to achieve that because you have a beach house you wanna buy or go on that vacation. Sales is a funny game if you work in a big company. They manipulate numbers to create your actions. I believe that the best salespeople are doing things in a different way. I think you need to care about the customer for real reverse engineer them and give them what they need. I'm a better salesperson than you because I'm the anti-sales person and I think that's the best salesperson. Please understand that the world has changed and the attention of the person you're trying to get to is moving into different places and this big one, stop complaining. A great salesperson shuts their mouth and she goes to work every day and tries to bring value to the end user and is patient and over time wins the marathon of sales. Put yourself in that position.